So, as I told earlier, a recap of what we did. We have A by B is equal to C by D cross multiply and you get AD is also equal to BC. This is called the cross multiplication property. In Vatendo, if A by B is equal to C by D, the inverse ratio of A by B, that is B by A, is also equal to D by C. For example, we know half is equal to 2 by 4. We know this. Then, 2 by 1 is also equal to 4 by 2. Obviously, 2 is not equal to half and 4 by 2 is not 2 by 4, but these two are equal to each other. The new ratio obtained by inverting them, they are also equal. Hence, this is Invertendo. Then we did the alternando rule that is concerned with alternating the on consequent and the antecedent a by b. So you, what we have done is a by c you have interchanged the consequent of the first ratio with the uh, antecedent of the second ratio this way. And here you have also interchanged the same the antecedent of the first with the consequent of the second and you get new ratios obtained. And this is called alternate rule. Let's take a simple example. You have 2 by 3 and say um, 10 by 15. So 2 by 3 and 10 by 15 are definitely equal. 2 by 10 and 3 by 15. They are also equal because 2 by 10 is 1 by 5. 3 by 15 is also 1 by 5. Much the same way we even have you, you alternate this and this 15 by 3 you have taken this here, the consequent of the second ratio becomes the antecedent and vice versa. 10 by 2, these two are also equal. 5 is to 5, 5 is equal to 5. So you are alternating the ratios. Then you have componendo rule. A by B is equal to C by B. Then A plus B upon B is also equal to C plus D upon D. Say, uh, we can have, say, um, 7 upon 9 is equal to 14 by 18. Add 7 plus 9, so 7 plus 9 upon 9 and 14 plus 18 by 18. This will turn out to be 16 by 9 and this is 32 by 18. Yes, these two are also equal. So this is the component rule. Let's go to the next rule that is dividend rule. Much the same way you have the dividend rule here. A minus B upon B is also equal to C minus D upon D if A by B is equal to C by D. Say for example you have 3 by 2 and say 6 upon 4 are equal. Now 3 minus 2 by 2 and 6 minus 4 by 4. 3 minus 2 by 2 is half. 6 minus 4 by 4 is 2 by 4 and it's common knowledge half and 2 by 4 are equal. And then we have the componendo dividendo rule which we talked about earlier too. We have A by B is equal to C by D and hence you add A and B, you subtract them, you get a ratio. You add C and D and you subtract, you get a new ratio. In fact, this is obtained from the previous two. If you divide the results of componendo by the dividend rule, terms get cancelled and that's what is resulting. That's why it's called componendo and dividend rule because it's a combination obtained by dividing componendo and dividend rule and hence you get this. Furthermore, we have addendo. I told you it's it. This is addendo. There are a number of ratios A by B, C by D, E by F, G by S. They're all in proportion and these, each of these is equal to a new ratio which is obtained by adding all the uh, all the uh, antecedents and adding all the consequence or adding all the first terms and adding all the second terms. And subtrahendo, we have A by B is equal to C by D is equal to E by F is equal to G by H and this is equal to 2. This should not be mixed up with compound ratio. When you multiply alternandos and all the um, antecedents divided by the product of the consequence, that new ratio is not equal to each of these ratios. This is valid only in case of addition or subtraction. When you must have learnt about this in your earlier classes, maybe in the high school level, together these are also called the theorem of equal ratios. So these were a summation of the various properties of proportion. Now we need to see how to apply them into the various kinds of problems that we are going to deal with. 